Okay, so here I am in the M2, and I'm just going to, so I've got the mic up here, but I've got the camera there. I'm just going to show you how easy it is. Um, so here it is, just a standard laptop of mine. Um, it only has an SSD and my lovely M3, I don't know if you can see that there, but it's over there anyway. Right, so first of all you have to open Boot Mod 3 and you say yes. Now many uh, modern laptops, they, they don't have Ethernet cables anymore, which is really annoying. Um, so I've got one of these. Now this is an Anchor, which is a much higher quality than the crap that you see on eBay and Amazon buy one of these, I think they're 20 quid. So it's not cheap, but it works, because I've bought cheap ones in the past that don't work. So that goes in my USB 3. Yep. Yeah. Um, so if you can see there, that's the boot mod that's loaded up now. That's the software that runs in the background. Okay, this is not all you need to do. OBD which is down here. We have to splice in some footage about this. Um, I mentioned earlier that you need to uh, put it in at a certain angle, which is what I'm going to do now. It's just a, an ever so slight, it's like a 20 degree angle. If you put it in straight, which common sense dictates that you think you should put it in straight, but no. On this car, just like the seats, they're a wee bit wonky. Now, you need internet as well, and I forgot to mention that. Now, you can piggyback off your phone, but I think I've just about got Wi Fi here, and hopefully, I have saved the link <laughs> for um, yeah, that should open. First of all, let me turn the car on. See, the software that runs in the background tells you if it's detected your car in the VIN. At the moment, it's saying not connected. Now, what I normally do when this happens, and it happens a lot, unfortunately, is I disconnect this USB, plug it back in, and then this will then check again. Now, it's important to note that on most cars you need to have a booster pack for the battery. Now my car's got a fully charged battery. I have a battery charger in my garage. Uh, she reminds me, I've got to do the M3. Still saying they're not detected, but it's not to worry. So I go to vehicle. It's saying OBD is disconnected. I click identify vehicle. That should sort it. Yep, right. You have a dashboard here, and that logs whatever you want it to log. You can set that. I don't have any issues at the moment. Uh, you click on data logs, that's all the stuff that you saved. And the good thing about the anchor is that it's got these three lights. Now, when all three lights are on, it means there is a connection between the PC the cable and whatever you've plugged it into. All the lights are on and it's still saying I'm disconnected. I really just want to demo this to you how easy it is. But because it is, I'm just having really bad luck. But usually when you click on OTS maps, there will be a whole selection there for you to choose. You can have stock plus, uh, GTS, um, competition, basically all of the uh, Okay, all right, well anyway, usually on this screen you choose your maps. Now on here is my save maps, I've customized my maps, and this is the cool thing. So you can take the OTS off the shelf, as that stands for, tune, and then you can actually tweak things a little bit. You can lower power in the lower gears to aid traction, but you know, where's the fun in that, right? Um, but useful maybe if you're going for quarter mile times, um, because it's a very, very talky 
fast car um, and it does struggle. Hey, it's 15 Celsius now. I might have to. Hmm, might pop out for another drive. Um, anyway. Um, and, and you can do other little things like the crackles and pops, turn off the active sound. I've done it already, so I don't have the stupid sound in it, the fake sound that it makes. Um, I've turned that off. It takes 30 seconds to flash my map. Um, and if I want to return it to standard, it takes about a minute and a half. So when you're going for service, you just plug it in, click stock, it flashes, and make sure you click lock DME, which it has on here on the right and the red thing. You just click on that and it will relock it all back to standard. Take it into BMW. They they won't know. <laughs> Seriously, they don't know. And just, you know, plead ignorance. Okay? Never admit to anything. No idea. Don't know what you're talking about. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's a terrible thing to say, but honestly, it's a, it's a minefield if you don't. Um, but th this is literally how easy it is. It's just this and this. And if you've got a battery booster, put it put it there in the back. The battery's underneath, it's really easy to access. And yeah, as long as you've got internet access, which I don't, it looks like at the moment, that's it. That's all it takes. Right, I'm turning it off. You get the gist of it. There seems to be an extra port up here. Interesting. I wonder, I wonder what that's for. But anyway, um, it leaves the flash counter at zero. I know that for a fact. Um, they haven't seemed to have really changed much with the ECU on the competition. As they, so it's basically everything is just from an M3 or M4. Yeah. And, um, you know, all the work that's been done before has just been carried over. And any tweaks that BMW have made have been, you know, addressed on this update for the competition m2 competition um and i've had no issues whatsoever so i highly recommend it um and the best thing about it is you have to drive to dealer you don't have to put up with all the bullshit of horrible uh there's some horrible tuners and dealers out there i know of one or two you know who you are god you could you couldn't make up the crap I went through with those guys, um, and then cheekily they're the most expensive. But anyway, this you can all do yourself. It's that easy, um, and I always have it with me wherever I go, fully charged, um, and I've always got a booster pack just in case. Um, but that's just me. I'm just extra careful. So yeah, there you go. That's boot mod free. Easy, super easy. As long as you can get the connection right at the OBD port. It could be because this cable here is actually, it's kind of old. It's my old one that I used before on my M3. No, I mean, uh, 35D, um, to turn off all the city sounds that made as well. But, uh, now I'm using it to do this, but I think maybe it's just a little bit weak and that might be the connection issues that I'm having. But yeah, anyway, it, it does work, obviously. And I highly, highly recommend it. You don't need any more than stage one, honestly. You don't. It's pointless. I mean, the car's stupid fast standard anyway, and stage one just makes it utterly bonkers. And, and I hear, and I hear they're working on more. I mean, I'm on, I'm on version 1.1, 1 .1, and because of this silly particle filters, they're, they're working ways around it to, to give it more power. Um, because it's losing about 10, 15 horsepower uh, tuned over a non-particle uh, filter equipped version. Um, but the tuners are already wor working away at it, beavering away. And I have no doubt there'll be a 1 1.2, 1 1.5, 2.0, whatever, stage one. And it'll be well over 500. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Anyway, okay. So there you go. Oh, very basic guide. Sorry, I wasn't able to show you a bit more depth but I didn't bring my phone and I haven't got internet connection so but anyway yeah it is that easy it really is okay here are the bad boys that are on it now and there you go 
arch gap. It's about perfect. I've had the alignment done. I've got negative two on the rear, and I think it's negative 1.5 on the front.